All right, down in the comments below, I want to hear all your flocking jokes. Let's have a flocking good time. Flock off. Ooh, Nicole just said we need to have a flock off. <laughs> all right, welcome back to Him and I Garage. Today we are going to do a very cool process, which is called flocking. No, I did not just say a bad word. This is the process of putting a bunch of tiny, tiny fibers and then blowing it. We're going to use this mini flocker and it blows the fibers into an adhesive that sticks to the walls and makes a really, really great, uh, you know, protection. Uh, also, you know, just adds that suede feel to any um, jewelry box or any type of uh, toolbox or any stuff like that. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors. Today we're going to be doing purple and a wine color. And that was the purple. And this is the wine color. And I think it pairs really well with the Paduk. Um, yeah. And I'll show you the flaws I made and the mistakes I made on some of this ones you see are not perfect and I can teach you how to hopefully avoid those mistakes and also tell you, show you all the steps that it takes. Without further ado, we'll get started on the step. Step number one. All right. So step number one is going to be sealing the box or whatever you're flocking. Just clear coated it in there and from now, we'll move on to step number two. Step number two. So step number two, we are going to line the inside of a cardboard box with plastic. Um, I couldn't find a cardboard box. I made my own box out of some, what is this, poster board? And just folded the ends and then cut that one in half. And then what we're gonna do is set this thing. All right, so now we have the line in there. And I kind of got this thing right here open. And what I want that is for is my fan to kind of suck out the stuff that's up in the air. Because this stuff is, you even touch it and it just, it just, it's everywhere. And I don't want to breathe that stuff. So I got um, a respirator and all that, and I'll show you that in the steps to come. This is it. So now we're going to move on to step number three. Step number three. So step number three, we are going to brush on the undercoat. This is the suede tex adhesive. I'm using black for both the purple and the burgundy. This comes in a whole bunch of different colors. It even comes in the um, blue, turquoise, white. I mean, a bunch of different colors. And it does probably come in wine as well. It does. It comes in wine color. But if you do it right, I don't know if you'll notice it because you're not noticing the, the back part of it, so we'll see what it comes out like, looking like. It has about a 10 to 15 minutes working time, depending on where you're at, temperature, all that barometric stuff. I'm gonna coat the inside and I'll move the camera so you can see what we're doing. All right, for this step, I'm gonna put on some rubber gloves here. For this step, we are gonna be using the Flocket Suede Undercoat Adhesive. You'll need a can opener and a disposable brush. But first, I almost screwed up. You wanna tape off the spots where you're not gonna put the suede stuff. So let me go ahead and reverse this and go ahead and put on the stuff first. You wanna do it in a well-ventilated area. And like I said, I had this little section right here off this side that I would wanna put the fan and for video purposes, I will not be having the fan on right now, so you can go ahead and see the, the thing. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush here and coat it up. Making sure there's no dull spots. All right, hopefully you can hear me. If not, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna to try to do this with the thing off. I'm gonna go ahead and point my 
gun straight down or the mini flocker and go ahead and just put a nice even coat of flocking on it. All right, you can see we have an even coat and you can look at it and it shakes off down there. All right, so now that we have the flocking in it, we are going to wait um, about 10 to 15 hours before we do anything else with it. So I'll come back to you at that step. Step number four. All right, now to clean up and just shake everything kind of towards the middle. And then just scoop it in. All right, so the second day I wore a white shirt. I wanted to kind of show you like all the flocking mess this stuff makes. And that's why you want to wear a respirator. This stuff is going everywhere. It's such small little tiny particles that you're, it's really hard to see. So the white shirt kind of really helps you represent that. So make sure you wear your respirator. Step number five. All right, so step number five. Once it's dried 10 to 15 hours later, you can turn it over and knock out the dust. But still be careful because it's not fully cured for another 72 to almost a week long. So go ahead and do that. And man, that just turned out good. I got some other boxes we did here. Go ahead and tap that. Yep, it's got a nice even coat. It's a little black down here and a little black down here. I should have probably used a little bit more fiber and got in those corners, but I am overall pleased. We can go ahead and just do a little reveal here with what it looks like with the walnut. And the maple and then we got the paduke i think it just really looks good the boxes turned out pretty good um i'm pretty excited the way the thing is the key to this whole process is when you're laying down that undercoating is to get it even um if you have too much it pools and it makes it a little bit darker and maybe that's the reason why you want to use the wine color um, underneath the wine um, stuff but I used the uh, black and it turned out pretty good and got a little dust stuff there but all I do is take my air compressor and and blow it off after 72 hours of course I don't want to mess it up so this one turned out really nice I don't see any problems just a little bit on the corner I didn't get a little piece in and so on so and then there's a couple spots I did learn the trick uh, after I think on this one uh, to use the little paintbrush to go ahead and get in all those little small cracks and stuff that is definitely key so get some disposable paintbrushes and do that with the small spots and I think I would have helped out a lot of things but for what it is this stuff is awesome um, go ahead and get you some and go ahead and start flocking and uh, like I said before if you've made it this far go ahead and like and subscribe uh, do all that fun stuff share it with your friends if you have any woodworking friends go ahead and share them um, also we would really appreciate it if you'd go follow us on instagram and tiktok and all the social medias just to get it out there i appreciate you guys watching and also remember your best flocking jokes i want them down in the comments